Uh, the NFL draft is Thursday. That's about all we know for sure about the future of the NFL. Players have not been told when or if they will return to their teams this year. And that's the reality for the Lions and the linebackers as well. Uh, one linebacker, Jason Cabinda, is benched in Florida. Jamie Edmonds caught up with him to find out how he's passing the time. Lions fans get to know to your man, Jason Cabinda. I talked to him this week and he was a really fun interview. He talks about quarantining alone and how he's getting creative. Well, if you're going to be quarantined, may, might as well be Florida. Yeah, seriously, I can't, I can't complain too much. Uh, at least not during times like this. I at least get to walk outside and still see some uh, palm trees. So I can't complain too much. But as you know, as the whole rest of the world is going through, this is definitely a uh, stressful and strange and all kinds of things. A check of Jason Cabinda's Twitter and you can tell the man is bored. He's in Fort Lauderdale at home by himself. Yeah, the boredom is uh, definitely kicking in on another level. Uh, I drink like a bunch of Gatorade. So like I'll have like empty Gatorade bottles just around the house. And like I collected a bunch of literally started stacking them, like making a tower out of, just out of boredom. Out of boredom, I went and bought a ping pong table that I've yet to get to to set up, which I'm going to set up in just a little bit. I might that set that like thing up idea. against the wall. I might, I might set up against the wall and just, and just hit it back and forth and get real good. He also showed me his electric scooter, another quarantine purchase. Cabinda says the other thing filling his days are workouts and dreaming and hoping the season starts soon. Well, these are unprecedented times, so like we don't really know when we're going back. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of tough um, as to know how, how things are going to proceed. You know, moving forward. You know, I guess the season might be up in the air. Who knows? That goes for the guys hoping to get drafted next week. Cabinda was an undrafted free agent who signed with the Raiders in 2018. So he knows the importance of in-person workouts with scouts. For some guys, that can that can be tragic. That can be as bad as, you know, career ending. You know, for guys who aren't invited to the combine and all they have is a pro day, uh, you know, for opportunity to have scouts come and see the product, the person, and see how they play or you know, how they perform, I mean, that, that that's super tough. That can be the difference between getting a training camp invite and never even getting your foot in the doors. Cabinda says he feels lucky and blessed that he is healthy and so is his family. He urges folks, even though the boredom is real, to stay in and stay safe. And when the Lions do hit the field again. One pride, just keep believing. And, I, and our fans, I mean, I, I definitely got to thank them because the way they came out, you know, game after game, you know, regardless of the result, um, and supported us. I mean, we need that and we need more of it. And I, I promise you, you know, next year is definitely going to be a better season, without a doubt. Cabinda says he has heard the comments from former Lions about Coach Matt Patricia, but he tells me he likes Matty P's passion and he likes playing for him. Tonight at 11, we're going to switch gears to basketball. Dick Vitale also benched. We'll talk to him at 11. Steve, Sandra, back to you.